Hi everybody, so today we're going to do something a little different and going to kind of skip on the Jenga Blocks crafts this week. Uh, so what we're going to do today is, we're since graduation is just around the corner, whether you want to make it for maybe someone that's graduating from elementary school or either college, university, I have a second one that I'm going to do, just another little piece that I'm going to do with this one as well. Um, so this is going to be sh not a long tutorial, but so first thing we're going to do is you're going to need one of these containers. We've all seen these. I think some of the hats were made at Christmas time for them. I bought the container. I never did use it. So this is just from Dollar Tree. We're also going to use, I'm just going to take this off, this, um, canvas now. use this canvas if I can get the plastic off and it does not it's a nine by nine inches and what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray paint them you could probably paint the canvas black if you want but I'm just gonna do even coats with the spray paint so I'm just gonna use uh, I got this at my local hardware store Rono slash Lowe's uh, it's just the Rust-Oleum and I'm just going to use a satin color and I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to give it a good spray and I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the inside, I'm just going to do on the outside and we'll see how much it covers. If I do see the trucks on the inside, I will give it a spray on the inside and both is them, uh, both inside and outside as well and both sides of the can, um, canvas. So I would just do light coats just so that it doesn't run or make any uh, drip marks. And we'll, then I will show you the next step. All right, so I just wanted to show you. So I did do the inside because you were able to see the truck and I did it on the bottom as well. The inside, I didn't do the top because, and this is what I liked about the paint that it just went on even. I did the inside or, the bottom side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue that on top right there. I'm going to, I'm probably just going to use some hot glue and I'm just going to put something heavy on it so it stays flat all the way around. Once that is glued on, I will go on to do, now where is, where is it? I have it here, is ribbon. Now this is from Dollarama but you can use any ribbon. So what I want to do is get rid of the scallop look. So I will put the ribbon all the way around it. So then it will get rid of the scallop look. Even though there's a little bit up top, you won't see it because it'll be attached to the top of the, uh, it will be attached to the top. So you're only just going to see the a little line of it in between there. So now that I let that dry, it's a lot more even and flat. I did put the ribbon on there, which I think looks really nice and it's nice and satiny looking. So the next thing we do, uh, glass vase filler. I wanted to do for the button, for the top. I, when I was spray painting, I actually spray painted one while I was doing the, the cap. Now, there's a couple different things that you can do for the tassel. Now, the one I'm going to do, and I remember I bought buying it that, um, I don't know what I bought it for, another craft that I don't think I ended up using. I think I was going to use it for the Hula Hoop Chanel purse, or it was another, um, actually for the other Chanel, there was two Chanel purses that I did. I think it was the placement one that I was going to use it for, and I never did. So I ended up getting this just at my local fabric land and I got it for $1.69. So this is the tassel I'm going to use, but I am going to use, I'm going to take off the little lobster clip on it and the little circular clip and just leave the hoop on there. And I'm just going to, I'm going to take that off, but I did cut six of this string. Now this string is sold at Dollar Tree and I just picked the black one. So I am 
These are just over 11 inches long. I will end up sticking them. I'm just gonna show you. It's all going in through the little hoop here. Of course, it doesn't want to go through right now. Oh, it did. Um, like this. I'm going to knot it right there so it stays tight. And I'm going to end up taking that off, but I'll do that off camera. And I'm just going to place it there, put that, and it will have the hanging effect as you can, well, you can't really see, but... And, and then we'll do the inside in a minute. So there's that option. Now, there's also another option. So using the same black uh, embroidery thread, they sell these ones, uh, just the fake leather tassels at Dollar Tree. I just end up pulling, and it came out in one piece. I just pull it out. And now, just to show you the other option, so even still using another 11, you're going to have to try to put that th the six of them through the hole right there. I'm not going to do it here because we could be uh, we could be here for a while if I was trying to put them all through. I'm going to just try to give it a whirl, and it's probably, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it on, on camera. As much as I like to show you. Oh, I did it. So you have in the same concept doing a little knot where the loop is. Now these are the exact same thing. Six long strings, just over 11 inches long. I did tie and I didn't measure. I didn't measure the tassel. So it just depends on what you want. I know the other tassel, it's a lot shorter. There was a little bit of a kinks in it. It's not the best ones to fall, but I did iron it just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more straighter look. I wrapped some, uh, where is it? Some DT floral wire, just some silver stuff, just at the ends, just to keep it together. And then you're just gonna glue it in there like that and stick it right in there. I'm not gonna do it. And then you have that tassel, but you do a little knot here. And then, because I'm going to use this one actually for the other little graduation idea that I have. I saw it, I actually saw it somewhere. It was, was super cute, but we're going to finish this one off. So then you would just knot it there. Let's see if I can do it. You have to just make sure, it, because then it will just make it look a little bit more fuller. I don't know if that's going to... There we go. Once again, you do the exact same thing. I would trim it just a little bit, glue it, glue it there, and you got your tassel. So for the inside of the box, we are going to use an egg carton. So I just took the egg carton, I just took the top side off, and I'm just going to trim it like this. Oh my god. I'm just going to poke these down so they're a little bit lower. Now, I'm going to do eight, but I'm going to do... I think this one should fit. I know this is low and I'll explain that in a second. And I believe I'm going to try to get more. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit one or two. I think I'm only going to be able to fit one for some reason. I think the two will be too squishy. I'm going to trim 
them around there. be up a little bit more now there's different things that you can actually put while you're depending on what your gift you want to be you know maybe your child likes to play video games or they could you know you could put some other things now the the plastic container is a little bit taller so you could actually put two rows of these because of the depth of the bowl. I just right now don't have uh, two cartons of eggs to use. My eggs are sitting in a bowl in the fridge right now. Now, I think that's just gonna be, a, well, we can squish it in there. It's gonna be a little bit higher too. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do this. I'm just going to fill this with the bottom now. You're not going to see this. This is just to lift it up a bit. When I do get another carton of eggs, I will uh, buy another one when we run out of the ones that we have already. And I think that will fit a little bit better because it's a little bit higher. And just where it's in the corner. trim a little bit of the sides and let them you can just trim the I mean you can do one on each side but I still think that we can fit an extra extra couple chocolates in there and we're gonna add two things to this once I get this done there we go I think I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do that on the camera. I'm gonna cut a little bit more, and then I'll show you what we're gonna use over this. So I took the egg cartons, and I just cut out a piece of um, foam, foam board, just circular. I just traced it around here, and then I cut it smaller so that it actually just fits in. I did, um, cut the edges a little bit smaller with the egg carton. So I had a pillow, I just bought a pillow, just um, a pillow, and I use it for stuffing or whatever I'm using for crafts. So I just stuck a little bit in there. So when you actually put the chocolate in, it's not sitting way down in there, that it's a little bit more up. So what we're gonna do to cover this now, I'm just trying to push some of these corners in so it's not too high on the side is just a Dollar Tree satin pillowcase. Now, I already opened one up and I cut three quarters of one side of the pillowcase. So I'm just gonna put it over like this. Now DT has these little clips if you don't have them. You could stick something in, cause I want, you can't just glue it you can't just glue it straight on this side. You want to do it over because it just won't look as good and you need to stick down the chocolates. So I'm just gonna use these little clips, crafting kits from, crafting clips from DT. So, and then I'm just gonna hot glue it around the back, covering the bottom. That one doesn't want to go there. Oh, go there. So you could you could probably put something like if you don't have these clips, you could just put some like rocks just with something a little bit of weight, and then maybe put like a flat top like this on it. I'll just show you. It might be easier to do it this way. If you could just I don't have the rocks on me, but just to show you, and there's And you put the little rocks on there and just put it like this and then flip it over 
And then you just want to glue it all the way around. You're going to have to obviously cut it. I'm just showing you here. That it's at least nice and covered. Obviously, it's way too long. So when you flip it over, but it'll be in like this. And then you'll be able to put your chocolates in it. Now, if you're going to do two layers, you'd have to make sure that you cut because the plastic goes a little bit narrow. So it'd be a little bit smaller. Or you could just put some stuffing. And I did get some stuffing, uh, different color stuffing. I had the pink in there before. Uh, you know, if you want to stick like... Um, a gift card or maybe some other kind of candies in there and then you could stick it on the just have a little bit of a nice design put whatever gift card candies and then you could put the top layer of just the chocolate on it I will show you once I do it I will do it off camera I will come back and show you that and then we'll move on to the next little craft all right so I just wanted to show you um, so I already, the Freer Rocher is what I use. Now, I didn't do another layer. I'm probably going to put like gift card or some other little trinkets underneath. Um, so I just, like I showed you with the clips, I'm just going to put this on top so they don't fall over. And I just, it's not the best job underneath, but works for me. And then you can just pop it right in. And you can put a little bit more stuffing depending on the stuff that you put under that you want to put underneath or if you want to do another row of chocolates i rather put something other than candy in there and you really could put anything you don't even have to do that um if you did want to do just like different stuff inside with a mixture of stuff you could actually just take the inside of the um, the pillowcase and just glue it on the inside all the way around and almost like a just like a lining of silk underneath and just plop a bunch of stuff in it and then we just put it on top and i'm gonna i'm gonna switch views after when i do the other one quickly and i will just show you what it looks like from the side i think it really turned out well and i really liked it so the next one we're gonna do it's just one with like a champagne. So obviously this is going to be for the older ones, probably college, university, I guess, depends on what state or country you're in. And I mean, even if it's just a dinner with the family, you could always just put um, different things in the glass other than, you know, just itself, um, like champagne or whatever that you're going to have. So these ones are just um, the two piece canvases that came in here. I just took one out and this is just the four by four one. Now, depending on the size of glass you use, um, will obviously depend on what will make it work. So I am gonna paint this one. I ran out of spray paint, so I'm probably just gonna put some black regular paint. It's gonna be pretty flat looking color and I'm just gonna add some Mod Podge over it once I let it dry and obviously both sides but before I do that I am going to take a pencil and with this one because there is no lip on it you're just going to draw a circle all the way around like this well, it's not really centered it's off a little bit but I can always fix that after now I just can't find what I'm looking for right now. Um, anyways, we are going to use a foam sheet. I had a black one here and I have misplaced it somewhere in my messy crafting table. We're just going to take a piece of foam paper and you're just going to want to cut it. Now I'm just eyeballing it. This might be a little bit, nah, I think this will be good. And we're going to do two strips of that. Now, obviously off camera, when I find my black one, I'm going to make sure that they're the same size. You're going to glue, so you want just a little bit more stability on it. We're going to glue it. And you're going to make sure, once you glue it, that your glass will fit. I know I'm just holding it here. I'm just going to use some hot glue. Make sure, so when it pops on, similar to the other one, you don't want it too tight and this will be obviously better fixed better with that on it 
and that will just be attached to the cap. That's why you're gonna draw the circle on there and make sure you do. Um, but with this little rim that I'm going to do around it, I'm actually going to use some black paint, or, well, or it's already black, so I'm just gonna use some black glitter. Now there's different things that you can do if you can't find that plastic container. You could also use, this one's just from Dollar Tree. It's just a smaller box. And you can do the exact same thing that, you know, as well. You could use this as well. You could use a square one. You could use a gift box, depending on what kind of gift that you want to give for graduation. So it's pretty much whatever you desire to do. So I am going to do paint it black, add this on. I'm going to make this more glittery. Now I showed you earlier that I made this one for the other one and I didn't use it. I could probably just use this one and just cut it for the top and use um, the exact same idea with the uh, glass vase filler. You could use this one. Or I did figure out that these were the other ones that I showed you that were a lot smaller that I was telling you could take the plug from. But this is just the navy blue one and I actually just took some paint on it. So it's a little bit stuck, but I did make it black. So I mean, there's also, instead of making your own and pulling it apart, you could just paint whatever tassel on there. And it turned out okay that you could do that as well and just attach it on. Once I put that together, I'm probably just gonna add some like Hershey Kisses or I think I have some chocolate hearts still from Valentine's Day. And then you just add your hat. And I will come back and show you, obviously. I'll always show you both of them on a different angle. And I think it's gonna turn out really well and it's super cute. And um, let me finish this up and we'll come back and we'll finish the video. All right, so I thought I'd show you the final product. So I think it worked out really well. You have the chocolates in there. I just have the hat on the tilt and you can just put it on easy like that. And the little the little one itself is just, uh, like I said, I just did the little bling and it just sits perfectly on there. I just use hot glue. I just end up using the yarn on there and you can fill it up. You can actually add even around the stem. I was thinking is just a rolled up little piece of paper with some a uh, little ribbon on it. You know, you can have the year that they graduated. I really think it turned out well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great day in Happy Crafting and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.